Hi, I'm Frank from National Taiwan University. I'm here to present my paper, Contrastive Learning for Improving ASR Robustness and Spoken Language Understanding. Spoken language understanding is an essential task for better human-machine interaction. The system is typically designed with the ASR, the Automatic Speech Recognizer, to transcribe the input speech into text and followed by the NLU model to perform the understanding task to extract user intent and related information. However, there's a big problem in such system when the ASR misrecognized input speech. For example, this text is left all light to Markle, which does not make sense at all. But we can uh, guess that the original text might be list of flights tomorrow because they sound similar. However, for the NLU model, it has no idea because it has no knowledge about the pronunciation and the ASR and NLU model are often disjoint. Furthermore, nowadays, it's common that we use a pre-trained language model as the initialization of our NLU model. But the model is pre-trained on written language, which is quite different from SLU scenario with spoken language and recognition errors. So our goal is to adapt the pre-trained model to spoken language and improve its robustness to SR errors. Fireworks has navigated this direction mainly by using additional speech information, such as phoneme sequence for phoneme birds and the lattice OM, lattice for lattice OM. But uh, the additional speech information is very difficult to collect at both training and serving time. Therefore, in this work, we propose a new adaptation method using only textual information. And the idea is to tell the model about the correct text behind the Aranus ASR output. And our training strategy can be divided into two stages. The pre-training stage using a speech corpus and the fine-tuning stage with SLU corpus. Let's first look at the pre-training stage. We proposed a contrastive pre-training for spoken scenarios. First, we have to prepare the paired data. A positive pair is composed of the clean text and the ASR output of the same speech. And the idea is that we ask the model to pull closer the embedding of the two sentences so that when the model only sees the Aranus as our output, it can infer the correct text because their representation should be very close. We also collect negative pairs from other sentences in the same batch and we utilize contrastive learning to achieve this objective. The loss function is written here. We can see in the numerator, we ask the model to maximize the similarity of the representation of the positive pair. And in the de denominator, we ask the model to push away the similarity of the negative pairs. So our pre-training objective is the contrastive loss plus the next language model objective. We keep the MLM loss to prevent catastrophic forgetting and to adapt the model to spoken language. And we verify our results based on three datasets. Track 6 and 8 is are the synthesized version with where I rate around 30%. 
Surf is another challenging SLU corpus with a wide variety of domains and a larger scale. We compare our method with three baseline models. The first one is Roberta without any modification. The second one is Phonimbert, which utilizes additional phoneme sequence and append it after the original text and use the max energy model to uh, adapt uh, the portrayed model. The third one is SimCSE, which is the contrastive learning baseline, and use two forward passes of the same input source as the positive pair. And here is our result. Our proposed portraying method have a significant improvement over Roberta across the datasets. We also outperform CSE in all datasets by providing additional information of the correct and erroneous text. We still lose to phoning BERT on track 6, but they need additional information. Next, let's look at the fine-tuning stage. We propose two techniques to improve the model robustness to noise. The first one is supervised contrastive learning. In supervised contrastive learning, the model tries to group together the data with the same label as the positive pair. Like this example, the first two sentences share the same intent, send email. So the model will treat them as positive pair and try to pull together their representation. And the third one have a different intent, so the model will try to push away their representation. The idea is that if the data with the same label is very close to each other, then the model will send a better chance to choose among their representation clusters when it sees an input data that is very highly distorted. And the objective is written here. It's very similar to the contrastive training, but we add the identity function of the uh, label here to track the positive pairs. And the second one is self distillation and it aims to uh, relieve the model from label noise. The label noise also comes from misrecognitions, but on the keywords. Like this example, the original text should be turned the light on, but on is mistranscribed to off, and the intent is the exact opposite. And the model sees this data, it will feel very confused because the intent is very different from its prediction. So the model has no choice but to overfit on this misleading label. So we propose to utilize the previous prediction as a guide to check if this label is suspicious. We utilize self-distillation to minimize the KL divergence of the current and the previous, pre previous prediction so that the model will be more consistent. By this objective, we can force the model not to overfit on the misleading label and therefore reducing the impact of label noise. But as you can imagine, the label problem also affects supervised contrastive learning. Like this example, although the first two sentences share the same label, but since the first sentence is mistranscribed, we actually, the first and the third one, has better uh, semantic similarity. So we replace the, the identity function in the supervised contrastive learning with the soft label score. And the score is calculated by the dot product 
between the previous prediction. So that the model will know that the first two is actually quite different and the first and the third one is more similar. And we use this score as an indication of how the model should uh, try to pull the representation together. So the final fine-tuning objective is the weighted sum of the uh, cross-entropy loss, the self-distillation KL divergence, and the hard label and soft label, label version of supervised contrastive learning. And here is our result. The proposed fine-tuning method further boosts the performance across the dataset. And we even outperform Falling Bird on track 6. Although the improvement on ATIS is relatively small, it's mainly because of the label noise in the test set. And here is our ablation study. The first two rows are for the training stage, and the later three rows are for the fine tuning stage. You can see that in the pre-training, the mask language modeling is very important to adapt the model to spoken language and prevent catastrophic forgetting when we applied the contrastive loss. In the fine tuning stage, you can see that the self distillation is very important to prevent the model from overfitting the misleading labels. Overall, we can see that each component contributes positively to the final score. The last section, let's check which part of the data actually improves. We can see the column stands for data with different word rate intervals. The first one, the first column does not contain any error. And it turns out that the Roberta base is the best model. However, as long as there is a recognition error in the input data, our proposed pre-training method provides a significant improvement. And we can look at the four later rows and which uses the proposed fine-tuning techniques. We can see that the performance is improved no matter which pre-trained model we choose and no matter there is or isn't any error in the input data. Let me summarize my presentation. Uh, our main focus is to adapt the pre-trained language model from written text to spoken language and improve its ASR error robustness. Our method is first use contrastive training to learn misrecognition and variant sentence embedding via contrastive learning. And in fine-tuning stage, we use to provide contrastive learning with self-distillation to improve the robustness to ASR and label noises. And the critical point of our proposed method is that we only use textual information so that it can be adopted more easily. Thank you very much. This is the end of my presentation. We publish our code in this GitHub repo. Please check it if you are interested.